Yo, welcome back, guys. Today we are doing Outer Wilds Part Two. Let's go. So this is about uh, the fifth launch, I think. It's probably jotted down somewhere. I don't know. But yeah. Here we go. Here we go, man. So, the goal right now... Oh, that's a gravity crystal. Let's see what we got so far. Oh my gosh. We got so much. So yeah, here's a quick little recap. What I found. Alright, John Steep. We weren't there. There wasn't that much. We couldn't find out how to go uh, inside the island. You can track these. Mmm, yeah, I remember that. That was weird, it was like a portal. That's a quick little recap. Where to? We don't know this talk about John Steep. Let's go Hourglass Twins. Let's just see what's up. What the? Uh oh. I know that changed the whole thing. My bad. I'm in a tree. Whoa. Uh oh, I don't have the suit on. Uh. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> Quick reset. <laughs> uh, that's a bad start. My bad. I wish there was just a, a give up button. If I knew what to do, I would go eat a shoe. If I knew what to do and just fly out the loop. All right. I will glass. Let's go. Let's go.
No. I'm doing this right, right? We are on the moon. Let's go. Whoa, we're so close to the sun, guys. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Anything on this moon? Whoa, the gravity's so low. I feel like I'm gonna fly away. So this looked like it came off of that. Whoa, what's down there? There's something in the moon. Oh my goodness. Oh no. These look like they're perfectly set up to be there. But there, it looks like there's a way to go inside there. Maybe this is a landing spot. Ouch. Whoa. Did he per uh oh. I'm gonna fly away. Ah! Lost in space. Okay, I'm incoming. That's nice. Oh no. Guys, I think I'm stuck up here. Come on. Get down. Get down. Oh, thank God. I'm alive. That's kind of scary though. You think that'll happen in real life, something like that? I don't think there's an entrance. Am I the best pilot ever or what, man? Ooh. 
Whoa. Uh-oh. I'm going down here. I'm seeing what's up. Oh my gosh, there's something up there. There's a party going on. What's going on, little guy? Dennis, it's you. Hello. I take it your first lunch with Dwellin. Look at the hourglass twins, my thing now. What are you up to? Don't feel asked me to update our star charts, so I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know. What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernovae today. Usually I'll be forcing it to see just one. Keep an eye. Or four on the stars. Maybe you'll spot one yourself. Tell me, what did I do for you? I found something. Good to tell. Actually, never mind. What the heck? Why did I say that? Um. What should I explore here? I have a list. To be honest, I even left this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but I'm really quite good with the little scout. So I've been taking pictures of everything from right here in my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck site on Emperor's Twin Southern Hemisphere? The one shooting a bright beam of light into the sky? It's not one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough. This one's a Nomai ship. You'll find Nomai ruins across the Twins, but strangely, not a single settlement. Believe me, if there was one to see, I've seen it with my little scout. So where do they live? Not on the surface, clearly. Ember Twin is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies on the ground. What did I do for you? Um, what are you doing out here? Right now I'm documenting stars. Hornfell noticed our star charts are out of date, so they asked me to update them. Please don't tell the others I said this, but sometimes I think I'm the only traveler out here interested in doing any science at all. Or maybe don't tell Hornfells either. I think they're pretty deep in denial. Alright, just saying hi. Watch out for the falling sand, okay? I had to dig myself out once or twice, and that's not half as fun as it sounds. Alright. What is he, like a... an egg? Church. Cave shard. What the? It's a quantum? Quantum fluctuation? That's crazy. Nice. Police is missing. He vanished from the label lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole several days ago, and we're unable to find any trace of him. I don't know how much air he had when he disappeared. I beg any friend reading this, help us recover Colasis. Lake bed cave. Okay, maybe we'll look there. I don't know where that is though. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend, because your unique color and texture appeals identical to a rock I met earlier? Wasn't well, the same fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? North Pole? Santa Claus? 
We plan to re-examine our northern lake bed caves. Maybe a friendly rock will meet us down there. Uh, Morley and I went back to lake bed cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't. That means the rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. What's this? Power line. Ghost matter. Oh, that's the thing we just looked at. <gasps> what is going on? Uh oh. Did I get killed by a ghost? Oh my gosh. Really? <laughs> no ghost matter is now. Probably figure out what to do with the uh, ghost matter later. But for now. Let's cover a bit more John Steep. That's so funny though. Imagine it's this guy's big day. And he just woke up and like, alright, y'all ready? And he's he runs to the elevator and gets in the uh <laughs> gets in the ship without any of the launch codes, man. This is funny. What's this right here? Can I land on this? Oh no, I think this is a bit too small.
I don't think I'm doing this right. Oh no. Oh no. Whatever. I want to land on that though. Come here. What? Nice. Whoa. Uh, that's okay, right? All right, what's over here? What is going on? What is going on in Twin Falls, Idaho? I don't think there's anything here. Uh-oh, I'm flying away. Oh no, this looks like something. This looks like something important. Oh my goodness. Nope. I think this is just a decoration. Okay. Come here, ship. So I gotta repair something? Dude, I just realized I could get out in space and repair this. It's cool. What do I need to repair? Landing gear. All right. Is the planet moving or am I moving? Whoa! That's scary. Rotating. There we go. Okay, I think I fixed it. That was just a scratch. Why was it making such a big deal, man? 
I'm going in. Uh, back up, back up, back up, back up. Did this thing go underwater? Oh my gosh, it's like a scuba. I don't think I can go any deeper. That's cool, I know that. What am I looking at? Probably some notes or something. Oops. Oops. looking at oh yeah this gravity sucks you can you can barely do anything it's so heavy <gasps> dead people those are dead puppies school Oh my gosh, I unlocked the laser gun. What? Oh, I think I'm in a tornado. This is it, we finished building the final orbital probe camera module. We're ready to send it into orbit around giant feet for assembly. Our next step will be to send privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe track system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I have given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many attempts have not. Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Milo and Evan behave together, Dad, he may launch me from the orbit of Pokemon. If I know my brother Evan's and his spouse who want to launch a probe with as much power as possible, I'm going to can will break under the strain. I propose we give Evan and Milo's a slightly lower maximum power setting to the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Okay. I can't. I'm seeing all these names pop up again, but uh, I don't really know where to, what the, I don't really know where to put them, you know. Whoa. What? That's okay. I got a stone. Doesn't look like there's anything down here. What about anything up here? Whoa. Ah, who's that? I want to play some Nautica again, dude. I got so far in Subnautica 2, 
but my house kept breaking, so I quit. Kept getting holes. Ah. Panoid Daz and I were lifting orbital probe cannons, components in the orbit fire assembly. One hem somehow sank beneath the current. Fasava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomena myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. Look at something to pass through the current. I'll get it too for you interesting question. This is excited. Spire constructed a model of John Steep here at Middle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals on how objects might sink below the current. Pinoy, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'll be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Riddle Hollow, Gravity Canyon, or at Tower of Farm Knowledge. Pinoy, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any canyon of components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Nice. I really am taking no knowledge in when I read it, but you know, I'll probably get it for my ship log. Who's this? 12 minutes 27 seconds ago, long range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. 12 minutes? They were just here? What the heck? What is that? Is that the past? I don't know. I gotta go to the restroom.